MTV launched in 1981 and it quickly became the premier destination for music videos. This revolutionised the way audiences consume music and by the 90s MTV had solidified its position as a cultural tastemaker reaching millions of viewers worldwide. The network's influence extended beyond music with original programming that catered to the interests and the tastes of the youth demographic. The 1990s saw the emergence of several iconic MTV shows that transcended the realm of music. The Real World was a pioneering reality TV series which debuted in 1992 and it offered an unfiltered look at the lives of young adults living together in a house. This show set the stage for the reality TV boom of the 2000s and still remains an influence to this day. With the animation side, Beavis and Butthead, created by Mike Judge, became a cultural touchstone with its irreverent humour and its social commentary. The animated series followed the misadventures of two teenage slackers, of course, Beavis and Butthead. I always loved that Beavis and Butthead was just such a rebellious show, like it just showed the teenagers at the time and how rebellious they were against the older cultures. Also Daria, which was a spin-off show of Beavis and Butthead, and it focused on the character's wit and cynical outlook on high school life. At the same time, the 90s also witnessed the rise of alternative music and the mainstream popularity of the grunge movement. Bands like Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, they dominated the airwaves, which challenged the dominance of pop and hair metal. Which I mean, I would take Alice in Chains over Cinderella any day. MTV played a pivotal role in promoting alternative music with shows like 120 Minutes, showcasing indie and alternative acts. The 90s was wild. Imagine you just finished watching a classic episode of Be With Some Butthead, only to be surprised with this completely new banger just released by Alice in Chains the same day, what a time it must have been to be alive. With all the shows that have aired on MTV, today I want to talk about one show, which in my opinion was just animated chaos and so unique, and that was none other than Celebrity Deathmatch. Now for those of you who don't know what that is, MTV's Celebrity Deathmatch was groundbreaking, it aired from 1998 to 2007 and it captivated audiences with its unique blend of satire humour and claymation violence. The show was created by Eric Fogel. The show pitted famous celebrities against each other in a brutal over the top battle to death. This obviously was parodying the culture of celebrities and pop iconography. I wanted to talk about in this video the history, impact and legacy of Celebrity Deathmatch exploring its significance within the realms of television and entertainment. So if you guys want to know more about this show, stick around as we dive into Celebrity Deathmatch. Now Celebrity Deathmatch originated from a series of short films which was created by Eric Fogel in the early 1990s, which I believe they aired on Liquid Television, which was kind of like a very early adult swim I believe, I could be wrong but that's the kind of vibe I get off it. These short animations featured claymation versions of celebrities engaging in violent confrontations. This caught the attention of MTV executives. In 1998, MTV greenlit a full series based on Fogel's concept, and thus Celebrity Deathmatch was born. Now the format of Celebrity Deathmatch is pretty easy to understand. It typically involved two famous figures facing off in a wrestling ring, with the commentators Nick Diamond and Johnny Gomez providing a comedic commentary. One of my favourite things about this show was just the appearance of Stone Cold Steve Austin in just many of these episodes. It just makes me laugh looking back at it because WWE back at that point was huge in the 90s. I mean it is now as well, I'm still a huge fan. But in the 90s it just felt different. Now the matches often parodied real life feuds, controversies and a pop culture phenomenon. The show spared no expense in depicting graphic violence and gore using claymation adding to its shock value and dark humour. I guess you could say that Celebrity Deathmatch was definitely a lot of inspiration from those terrifying graphic clay animations which we see on YouTube to this day that people still talk about. 
Now, Celebrity Deathmatch quickly became extremely popular. It was drawing in audiences with its irreverent take on celebrity culture, which I think the reason to its popularity was viewers could see their favourite, or sometimes least favourite, celebrities engage in just absurd combat. I think the whole idea of the show's satire and the whole spectacle of it is a reason why it was so popular, because there was nothing else like this at the time. Some of the funniest episodes that I have like ever seen of this show was of course Manson vs Manson was a classic, so was Axl Rose vs Slash, that one always made me laugh. There was also Mariah Carey vs Jim Carey, Buster Rhymes vs William Shakespeare, and we even got Beavis vs Butthead on one of the episodes too. And let's not forget the Loch Ness Monster. I need about 350. Now the legacy of Celebrity Deathmatch extends beyond its original run. It inspired numerous imitators and spin-offs in various media. This show had a video game, action figures and even comic book. The impact of this show can still be seen now with shows on Adult Swim, just trying to push boundaries and humour which is accepted on TV. Now despite its popularity, Celebrity Deathmatch was not without its critics. The show faced criticism for its violence and depiction of celebrities in a negative light. Some argued that it just promoted exploitation. Additionally, there were concerns about the show's impact on younger viewers and its potential to desensitise audiences to violence. Which, why was that such a controversial thing back in the day? You know, now there's kids playing like Call of Duty and nobody cares. Like, <laughs> So in conclusion, MTV Celebrity Deathmatch has left a huge mark on television and pop culture. With its blend of humour, satire and claymation carnage, the show entertained audiences and challenged societal norms surrounding celebrity worship. While it may have got controversy at times, its legacy as a groundbreaking and influential series is just undeniable. The show may have had loads of little satire and very well placed jerks, but to me, the one thing that I love about Celebrity Deathmatch is it's just a show that you can turn on, you can have a laugh, you can enjoy it, and you can watch claymation celebrities get brutally murdered. What's not to like? And that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry that this video wasn't really long or in depth like my Family Guy one. I've had a really busy week and of course a busy weekend with Easter, so happy Easter to everybody who is watching who celebrates Easter. Hope you have a good one and I hope the Easter Bunny comes to visit you. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a subscribe, it means the world to me and I'll forever appreciate it. But yeah, that is the end of today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.